This 10 News Pinpoint Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. And on that note, we want to bring in ABC 10 News meteorologist Leah Pizzetti again because we're seeing some rain. Exciting. Yes, uh, right. And mm -hmm. we love the rain. We're never going to be upset about rain. However, totals not looking that great. We'll take what we can get, definitely. But keep in mind, for this time of the month, this far into January, one of our wettest months usually, we should have gotten more than an inch already. And today was the first day that we got measurable rain. San Diego only roping in three one hundredths of an inch, so we are still down an inch from where we should be for this time of uh, month. But these are some of our rain totals so far. Hundredths, that's exactly what we expected. Light rain through the day is uh, what we were expecting, and it's what we saw. We also were expecting gusty winds, and that is what we saw in our mountains. Uh, these are some of our observed wind speeds from today. We see 30, 40 uh, surpassing 50 miles per hour in our mountains. Just like we expected, those winds should be calming down now. And light rain moving through the region, bringing those hundredths of an inch. Uh, this is the look at the last 12 hours. We see we did see a nice push um, earlier this morning. Most of that is uh, falling apart now. We could see a little bit more rain this evening, but uh, the big push was this morning and even that was not too much. Highs for tomorrow going to be pretty close to what we felt today. So that does mean mostly upper 60s along the coast could see some lower 70s, lower 70s as we push inland, uh, 50s and 60s in our mountains and then mid to upper 70s in our desert communities heading into a Sunday. We're not quite done with the rain. However, we're not expecting anything major. So we do look to dry out tomorrow. Monday, we're going to stay mostly dry and Tuesday is when we have our next highest chances for rain. But even then is not looking major. It's going to be pretty close to what we felt today. Light rain, maybe a couple hundredths. So this is showing this evening a little bit of green still popping up. Nothing major, but we could see a couple sprinkles uh, this evening heading into tomorrow little bit of cloud coverage lingering, but it'll be a little more clear than what we felt today. We had cloud coverage blanketing the region today, and then as we head into Monday, same thing, maybe a couple sprinkles or two. Tuesday is when we have our next highest chances for rain. This is showing early Tuesday morning, and then we're going to say goodbye to rain chances for a while. We're drying out after that. So through the next couple of days, we're going to start cooling down. So for our coastal areas, one more day right around 70 degrees, and then we do cool back down into the mid 60s as we head into midweek next week. That's our seasonal norm. Warming up with that sunshine, Back to that 70 degree mark as we head into next weekend. Inland lower 70s and then same thing. We're going to be cooling down into the 60s as we head into early next week, then kicking right back up to the 70s by next weekend. Mountains and not too much temperature fluctuation. We have those rain chances heading our way Tuesday. Like I said, mid 50s and sunshine by next weekend. Deserts also not too much temperature fluctuation uh, sitting in the 70s, mid to upper 70s for the next seven days. Lots more sunshine in the desert. So uh, mm -hmm. maybe we'll squeeze out a couple more hundreds on Monday mm -hmm. and into Tuesday. Day, but uh, for the most part, dry January. Yeah, not much. All right. Thanks, Leah.